Email is one of the most common yet least secure communication methods that we use on a daily basis. It's an old technology that is abundant with hackers and scammers, and some of the most commonly used email services have already had several security breaches in the past. So in this video, I'm going to go over seven email services that provide top of the line privacy and security. First, we have Postio.de. They are, of course, based in Germany. Email is encrypted with zero access storage, which means messages that are stored in your inbox are only readable to you. They can't even be read by the owners of this email service. And they also support encryption for your contacts and your calendars. But as we're going to see with not just Postio, but several other services in this list, the contacts and calendar use the CalDev and the CardDev standard, which don't actually support end-to-end -end encryption. As far as the more negative aspects, or not really great aspects of Postio go, they don't accept Bitcoin payments for the premium service, but they do accept cash by mail, which costs about 12 euros a year for their premium service. But the service that you get, the premium features are very limited. Postio doesn't allow custom domains, they don't have a dot onion service, and the inbox size is pretty standard. I guess it is nice though that their infrastructure runs on clean energy. Sovereign is a mail service that is based out of Amsterdam. They allow for custom domains as well as a catch-all domain. They accept Bitcoins and they support two-factor authentication. And actually, all of these services that I'm going to mention, they do support two-factor authentication. Um, now, as far as the bad goes with Sovereign, it is not open source. They don't have any mobile apps and the contacts and calendar are again, not end-to-end -end encryption because they're using that CalDev technology. And their inboxes also don't appear to be zero access encrypted. So it may be possible for the owners of Sovereign to see what is in your inbox if they really wanted to. And there's no dot onion service for the Tor users out there. And there's also no free trial for Sovereign. So if you want to try it out, uh, you gotta cough up 29 euros for a year of service. Mailbox.org is ad-free. It is based out of Germany. It runs on green energy. That's actually a pretty common thing amongst these German email providers. Uh, it costs as little as one euro per month and it offers a 30-day trial. And they support custom domains as well as a catch-all. It also offers an alias, secure.mailbox.org, which forces TLS encryption on connections between mail servers. Otherwise, if the mail server trying to connect to it doesn't accept the TLS connection, then mail will not be sent. It doesn't accept crypto, but they do accept cash by mail for the premium service if you wanted to stay anonymous that way. Um, they're not open source, and again, they don't encrypt your contacts or calendar. Disroot actually offers a multitude of online services besides just email, but this is a review of their email service, so I'm just going to focus on that. Their email allows for custom domains, although you have to manually apply for each one that you want to use. They accept Bitcoin and PayPal as payment methods. So of course, Bitcoin is probably what you would go for if you're trying to stay anonymous. Uh, Disroot does not have a dot onion service though, and they also don't have a mobile app and their inbox encryption is not zero access. So again, it may be possible for the owners to access your data in the inbox. And again, the address book and the calendar are using that CalDev and that CardDev, so there's no encryption there. Tutanota is, again, another email service based out of Germany, and they actually are open source. And they have a free option as well as a premium option. 
There is zero access encryption for um, the at rest data, meaning your inbox and also your contacts and your calendar in this case. Uh, they do have an app as well. A mobile app is available through F-Droid, and I think there is one available on iOS as well. They encrypt their mail for external users. So people who are not using Tutanota, um, there's an option where you can send the message where it will need a password in order for the person not using Tutanoa to view those encrypted emails. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But unfortunately, Tutanoa does not use PGP. So you won't actually be able to receive encrypted emails outside of Tutanota's service. And they only accept credit card and PayPal for the premium accounts. So that's a bit of a bummer there. And they also don't have an onion site. Uh, although it is worth noting that some of these things are on the devs radar to fix. So one day soon, Tutanota might make its way further up the list. So now ProtonMail. Uh, you've probably heard of this one already. And yes, most of the hype around it is true. It is, after all, number two on this list. ProtonMail is based out of Switzerland. It's open source, it has a .onion service, it has an app for iOS and Android, it has a free option to sign up, it has zero access encryption at rest. It also is the only one on this list that has actually had a source code audit done uh, of their infrastructure. So at least one other person has signed off on this being secure. And it is the most popular on the list, which is actually pretty important because when you're popular for being a secure service, it means that a lot of people out there are constantly trying to hack you. They're constantly trying to break that infrastructure and see if they can wreck some type of havoc. And yet ProtonMail continues to thrive. The only downside is that the premium versions uh, they make it one of the most expensive email options on this list. I mean, the premium option uh, for like the top of the line thing that you can get is kind of expensive, um, but not quite as expensive as the final option and the most secure option, which is self-hosted. So self-hosted email is technically going to be the best because you are going to be in control of everything. So you're gonna be in control of your data, you're gonna be in control of where your mail goes, but it is the most expensive because you're going to have to buy a domain and set up a mail server. And it could also be very insecure if you mess something up. I mean, if, if you do this wrong, then your email service might end up being worse than Yahoo Mail. Um, and in all honesty, I wouldn't really recommend this for most people. Um, I wouldn't recommend setting up your own email service. It's fine if you've already purchased hosting and a domain, uh, maybe for something like a website, uh, because like I say, the, the cost is the biggest wall here, right? Having to pay for that domain and having to pay for that hosting. But if you want to look around for a guide, or if you have to look around rather for a guide to set up a secure email, uh, self-hosted, then there's a high chance that you're going to get it wrong, and you'll probably just be better off using one of the other services mentioned above. Again, it really depends on the nitty-gritty of what you're trying to use a self-hosted email for, the whole reason you're trying to do that. Um, if it's for a business purpose, then again, unless you really know what you're doing, you would probably just be better off using one of the other services with a custom domain, because to your customers, at the end of the day, there's there's really no difference um, as far as getting shut down or like having one of these services uh, deny you access. Uh, seems pretty unlikely, right? Uh, especially if we're dealing with one of these services that has um, zero access encryption, because then at that point they can't even see what your ac your uh, what's actually in your inbox. But I can think of some scenarios where. Uh, someone might shut you down because of suspicion of what you're doing. Uh, so in that case, maybe it is better to use your own email service. Uh, again, 
this is something where you're really going to have to decide for yourself, but if you do insist on doing it yourself, MailCow is a good place to start for setting up your own self-hosted email service. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys uh, learned something from it. I hope you were able to pick out a secure email service. Be sure to leave a like and share with anyone else who also needs a secure email service and subscribe with notifications on so that you know when new content is released. Bye now.